Okay, so this video is just going to be, um, I'm getting a lot of questions on the TikTok about um, the boys having their leash on and about the cage in our bedroom. Um, so I'm going to do this video for about that just to help answer some of those questions because there's not enough time on a TikTok video to do it or not enough room in the comments to explain it all. And people are constantly asking. So this is going to be kind of a, just a mix of that. So this is their nighttime cage. It's a extra large um, macaw cage. It's always dirty down at the bottom because they get to have snacks. And then I give them things to tear up. I have to clean that thing out like every other day. But it's always like that. Um, they're only in this cage at night or if I'm cleaning their room. So when I'm cleaning their room, they'll come in here in this cage and be in this cage while I'm cleaning their room. Then at night, monkeys are live in large troops in the wild. So, and they have an alpha and they have a, like the, the top female in the troop and my husband's the alpha and I'm the top female in the troop. So when they, if they sleep in their other, in their room, they're separated from their top protectors and they don't like that. So at night they sleep in our bedroom. They're, the cage is literally right in front of our bed. They can see us. They can talk to us. They can get treats. They can get interactions. And they literally just sleep in here. They have um, stuffies. They've got, I think, three stuffies in there right now, but they'll be getting brand new ones at Christmas time. Uh, they have a blanket in there. I give, they have toys in there. I give them stuff to eat in their bowls. They have what their water bottle. Uh, but they're literally only in this cage for short times. They're not in this cage for any kind of length of time. I gave, there's all sorts of stuff tore up because I gave them the rolls from wrapping paper. They love that kind of stuff to shred. So they've got all that tore up down there that I got to clean out. But um, they're literally in this cage for just a few hours. They're not in this cage long term ever. This cage is not a, the appropriate size for one monkey, let alone three monkeys on a 24 hour, seven day a week basis. This, this cage isn't large enough for a marmoset or tamarin monkey on a regular basis. This is just a nighttime sleep cage or a short time going to clean their room cage. Um, they're never in this cage alone or in their room alone. That's the whole um, thing with leashes. So the only time they'll they be in here in this, the only time there'd be one of them in this cage alone or one of them in their room alone is when I'm transitioning for diaper changes or something like that. So like, you know, when I go get one of the monkey, when the, all three of them are in the rooms and I go get one of them and I bring them in here, change his diaper, put him in the cage. He's by himself long enough for me to go get the next monkey. And then he, that one goes in there and then the, there's a monkey in the room by himself. That's it. The rest of the time, the monkeys are together. That's why when we do um, special time outside the cage or outside of the room, two monkeys are always together. And then the third monkey is out with us. That way they're never alone, um, which is why eventually I ended up getting Mojo was so Jasper wouldn't be alone or have or ever have time when he didn't have somebody to be with. Um, so that's the cage thing. Um, their room, I'll, I'll, I'll show their room in a minute, but their room is huge. Their room is, it's like 10 to 12 feet high think it's about 12 feet long and it's about five and a half feet wide. Um, I constantly, I'm changing up their toys. I'm constantly changing up their 
all their chains and all their swings and all that stuff. I'm constantly adding things for enrichment. Uh, I constantly do different things in there so it's always different and that is their space and I'll talk a little bit more about their room here in just a little bit. Um, it's time for them to get up and get diapers changed so I'm going to do that real quick and then um, we'll talk about their room and then after I talk about their room I'll talk to you about the leashes and why they're leashed and why that's important for an adult monkey. It's not such a big deal with a smaller, younger monkey to have them leashed, but for an adult monkey, and especially when you have three monkeys, it's important. So I'm gonna change them, give them a bottle, and put them in the room. They're actually gonna go in the room naked today and not have a diaper on today. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the room a little bit. Like I said, the room is huge. It goes all the way up, all the way over there, all the way over there where there's a window where they can look out into our living room so they can always see us. Um, I constantly am changing up their play toys. I'm constantly changing out and rotating their other toys that are down on the ground. Um, these things are always filled up with different kinds of treats. I also have these Kongs that I fill up. They see them and they, they want their Kongs. Um, I also do other things for enrichment. I will give them boxes to tear up. I give them newspapers to shred. I give them, um, things, other, other items that are full of food that they have to open up and get out. I will toss food into the bedding, um, that won't rot, um, dry types food that doesn't, that won't rot, um, into the bedding for them to search for and find. Um, I'm, I'm sorry for all the Karens out there who think that their cage is dirty. This on the floor, this is one day. This is cleaned every single day. This is one day and this bedding comes because there's no plexiglass around their door. See how much cleaner that area is compared to this area? That's why there's plexiglass here. This plexiglass, it's always dusty and it's always, it always looks dirty. There's not really any good way to do that because you can't really get behind here to clean it. It's just, you can't really get behind there. It's dust and stuff like that. It's, it's not poop, it's not pee, it's dust. Their actual room is cleaned very regularly. Um, I change out the bedding, I clean the toys, I clean everything. That's done all the time. So the room is not dirty. I'm sorry if I'm not gonna show a perfect room that is spotless because the whole point of these videos is to show you what it's like living with a monkey, not the cute, them out there playing kind of videos that everybody else shows. I want you to see realistic of what it's like having a monkey. They make messes. And I know there's people that say that I sound like there's such a burden to me or, you know, why do I have them if I, if there's so much work for me and all that stuff. On my TikToks, that's where people have said this at. And on my TikToks, you get 60 seconds to make a video and I'm trying to get a lot of points across in a very short amount of time, so I'm being very quick. I love my boys. I wouldn't trade my boys for anything. They mean the world to me. It's just, when I'm making videos about them trying to show their life, I want people to know how much work they are. You know, if, if monkey people 
they don't talk about their monkeys to other people that don't have monkeys very often. It's, it's very rare that you get a monkey person that will talk about their monkeys if you don't have a monkey. Um, most of the time what you're going to see are the cute playing videos where they're playing and they're doing all this cute stuff and they're being super cute and that's what most people are going to see. Most people never see real life with a monkey. And most of those monkeys that you're seeing running around a house playing, those are very young monkeys. Like, usually less than five years, most always less than three years. Those are not adult monkeys. Uh, I have those videos as well, actually, on my Facebook. You can go on my Facebook and you can look back at my Facebook and I have videos of my monkeys playing and Jasper and, and Mojo playing. I have videos of them playing outside without a leash on. I have videos of them playing in our office where we used, where I used to work and I used to have to take Jasper and Mojo when they were babies. Um, I have videos of them playing. I have videos of them playing in my house, running around loose in my house. I have those videos. It's just not something that they do a lot anymore. When Caesar's mom comes to visit Caesar, Caesar pretty much is running fairly loose in the in the living room with us. He has a leash on, but he's not being just super controlled. Um, he's kind of allowed to move around and, and go between us and his other mama. Um, when I have a leash on them, the reason why they have the leash on is so they are contained in a safe manner, but they are allowed to still play and be like monkeys. Um, this room, this is their space. This is theirs. They are allowed to throw things in here. They're allowed to make noise. They're allowed to jump. They're allowed to climb. They're allowed to swing. They are allowed to do whatever they want. I very rarely step inside this room when they're in it. I have these doors. I have one here and I have one over there. We hardly ever use that one, but I have the two doors that that is what I use to take them in and out of this room. And the only time I actually enter this room is if they are not in here or if something has happened and I have to go in there. Um, it's, it's their space. It's their domain. That is their territory. Um, and I know these videos look a little bit dark. It looks like it's really dark. It's really not. I did turn on the light so there would be extra light, but that window, it, it, certain times of the year, that window gets a lot of sun. And so it's really bright in here. It's winter time, so it's not getting as much sun now as it normally would get. That window is making all of this stuff seem more dark. It's really actually not dark in here. Um, but this, this room is theirs. It is theirs to do whatever they want to in it. It's it's their space. They are they are monkeys in this room. When they are out of this room and I have them on a leash, I have the two leashes. I have a regular like six foot leash and then I have the short leash. In a lot of my first TikTok videos with the monkeys, they were on the short leash and that was because I wanted to keep them close to me so I could talk about them and you could see them in the video. And second, because I have my Christmas decorations up and that kind of stuff is almost irresistible to them and they would destroy it and break it in a second if they were allowed in that room with a long leash. So normally when you see them with a long leash, they're gonna be in the bedroom. That's where I'm gonna have them at is in the bedroom with the long leash, at least until my Christmas stuff is put up. And when, normally I don't have that much stuff that they that I have to worry about them destroying in the living room, but right now with it being Christmas, I have a lot of stuff, decorations out, and so it, it's a different time. It's, it's not normally like that. Um, now people are asking about the leashes. So this room, they are in this room most of the time. This this is their space where they get to be monkeys. This is their most of the time thing. We've only been in this house a few years and 
the first year when we moved in, there was a lot of work that had to be done in the house. And we built this big cage for them and I had to build the kennels outside. Well, not kennels, but the big dog areas outside. And we got our livestock. And so there wasn't a lot of money to build an outdoor cage. And besides we moved into this place in the winter time. Um, this year, my mom had to sell her house and she moved in, actually moved in here with us for a few months and then we built her a cottage outside so she has her pri uh, her own private apartment outside and so we had to do that this year and that cost money and our middle daughter is pregnant with twins and she lives in a very bad part of town so we have bought her a house and we're in the process of fixing it up and even though she's going to be paying us back we did front the money and buy the house up front with cash so that didn't leave us enough money to build the monkeys outdoor enclosure this year um, we are planning on building them a very large outdoor enclosure this summer um, it's it's something that I want to have for them. So they're gonna have, and it'll probably be three times the size of this room. And whenever the weather is nice, that's where they'll get to be, is outside in a massive, massive enclosure. This enclosure that they're in, this is fine for them to be in. It's not too small, it's, it's not the largest, but it's not too small. A lot of monkeys in home situations actually spend time in much smaller areas um, most of the time. So this is actually a very large, good size space for them. And it's actually bigger than the room they had in my old house. My old house, they had a smaller space. So this is actually bigger. Um, so with the leashes, there's, there's several reasons why they're leashed when they're out of this cage. Number one reason, well, not the number one reason, but I'm gonna, this is the order I'm gonna go in. So number one, I have other animals. I have dogs, I have a cat, I have tortoises, I have a bearded dragon, and I have spiders. Um, while they could not hurt one of my dogs, they, I wouldn't let them have access to one of my puppy, to my puppies when they are little puppies, but they could not hurt one of my puppies right now unless I just allowed them to, unless I just gave them a puppy and let them do whatever they wanted to, to that puppy. That is the only way they would hurt one of my puppies right now. But one of my adult dogs, they absolutely could not hurt one of my adult dogs but one of my adult dogs absolutely could hurt them. It, so they're leashed to protect them from being able to have full access to a dog that could possibly hurt them. Another thing is if I did not have them leashed and I allowed them to have full run of my house, in an instant, you, you, I don't think anybody understands how fast. If you don't have a monkey and you've never seen a monkey, I don't think you under you understand how fast they are. Think about cheetah speed. And on top of that, they're doing, the, they are grabbing and snatching and moving at top speeds, jumping and climbing in instants, like a blink of an eye instant. If they were running loose, they could absolutely have my my bearded dragon or one of my tortoises in their hands, be gone to another part of the house before I could get to them and they absolutely would kill one of them. Um, the other thing is my, my cat, although they couldn't kill the cat unless I just tossed the cat in this room. If I tossed the cat in this room and just let them go, I'm sure they could probably maybe kill the cat. Um, they would probably get bit and scratched and hurt in the process, but I'm pretty sure all three of them, if they ganged up on the cat, could kill the cat. Out loose in the house, they wouldn't be able to do that, but they would torture the cat. They would full out torture the cat if they were loose in the house. Then with my spiders, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is about spider web, 
spider web is like monkey cotton candy they love spider web they will eat spider web like it's nobody's business and they will eat insects if I have I have given them roaches to eat. I, I breed roaches that can't populate in a house. Uh, they're a, it's a forest roach, and they they won't breed inside a house setting. They have to have spe I have to have a special setup for them to breed. And so I've I've given them roaches to eat. Um, they they'll eat crickets. They'll eat mealworms. They'll eat they'll eat insects, and they will eat a spider. If I had them loose in the house, in a heartbeat, they would have my spider enclosures all open. And not only could I have spiders end up being eaten and killed by them, I could have spiders end up loose in my house. I have 40 something spiders. And I also have some old world spiders that have some pretty strong venom that if the monkeys were bit, it could be very serious for them. So that's another reason why they're not allowed to have full run access in my house. Uh, another thing is food and medication. If you allow your monkeys to have full run in your house, there is no safe drink. There is no safe plate of food. There's no safe food anywhere in your house. They will absolutely get into the refrigerator. They will absolutely get into your cabinets. They will eat whatever they can find. They will find your medication and then they will grab it and open it on the run and shove it in their mouth as fast as they can. To them, if it's something they can't have and they know they can't have it, they want it. And they will eat it as fast as they can possibly eat it. I, I, have, I know a lady that her monkey she she had the monkey on, on on the leash right next to her but she had her purse setting there and before she could stop the monkey the monkey grabbed a bottle of visine out of her purse opened it and drank the entire contents of that bottle before she could grab it and this monkey was leashed sitting right next to her the monkey nearly died it took the vet a really long time to save this monkey's life and there it was really surprising they actually did save the monkey's life so that's another reason to not allow them full access in your house another one is doors my doors all of my doors that go outside they can absolutely unlock them and open them They, they have no problems unlocking the doors and opening them. That's why their cages have key locks that they cannot open. But I can tell you, if they had the keys, if I left the key setting up there, they absolutely could stick the key into the lock and open it. They know how to do it. So, hold on. I'm cooking monkey biscuits, cooking turkey for monkey biscuits. I gotta go turn the oven down. Sorry, I'm cooking turkey to make them monkey biscuits um, again. Uh, doors, that's what I was, they absolutely could open a door and be outside in a heartbeat. When they were younger, I Jasper and Mojo were allowed to go outside and play. I had a huge swing set up at our old house and they were allowed to go outside and play, but I knew them. I knew that they were young enough that they weren't going to get scared and bolt and run off. If they got scared, they would come and run to me. Jasper, drink this one. I'll get you some more water in a second. Um, but now that they're older, they if they got scared, most likely they would bolt for the trees because that's high and it's cover. And so that's most likely where they would run to if they got loose outside. It, it would be very hard to get them back. There has been monkeys that have gotten lost outside and been gone for literally weeks. There's been monkeys that have never made it home when they've gotten lost outside. 
and have most likely died out in the wild. So that's another reason why they're leashed in the house. I don't want them to be able to get outside. Uh, another reason is I have a six-year-old and an eight-year-old grandchild, and I have a 13-year-old daughter. My grandchildren would not be able to come over to my house if the monkeys were running loose in the house because they would attack them. My 13 year old would have to literally lock herself in her bedroom 24 seven if the monkeys were allowed full run of the house because they would attack her. Mojo probably not. Mojo absolutely adores my 13 year old, like adores her. But Jasper and Caesar absolutely would attack her. So I have to protect her from them. And at the same time that protects them too, because I couldn't have them in the house if they were constantly attacking my child and my grandchild and my grandchildren. So I have to find, I had to find ways to allow them their, what they needed from us, but still protected my child and my grandkids. The grand, I didn't have the grandkids when we first got Jasper. But that, that, that's why they're leashed. They are leashed for their protection when they're out in the house. It's, it, that's just how it, how it is. They're not, they don't spend time on the, they're not on a leash all day, every day. They're, it's not like they're leashed 24 hours a day and they never get to be monkeys. That, that's not the case at all. They are never leashed for more than 30 minutes to an hour. With Jasper, he could be leashed for a couple hours, but that's because Jasper enjoys laying down and cuddling with us. I mean, if, if you watched any of my TikTok videos, you saw the video that I did um, last night. I'm going to get this video out up on YouTube today, so it was last night. And so if you watch my TikToks, you see, you saw that Jasper absolutely loves to cuddle and to snuggle and I have to make him go to bed. I have to physically make him go to bed because he would literally lay there all night long and never move. This right here, how Jasper is letting Mojo just groom him, that's how Jasper is all the time. Jasper, is so calm and is so just peaceful most of the time and wants to cuddle and be snuggled all the time. With Caesar and Mojo, I leave it up to them most of the time when they're out. It's how long, how long before they're ready to go up. They let me know when they're ready. If they're constantly calling and constantly alerting or constantly up and down looking, constantly um, trying to pull away and get away from me, then I know they don't want to be handled right now. They don't want to be messed with right now. And they would prefer to go back to their room and get to be a monkey. And that's what they do. They get to go back to the room and they get to be a monkey. I let them decide. They're not forced to do anything unless I absolutely have to force them to do something. I, you know, if I, if I can let them just be themselves, that's what I let them do. I let them be monkeys as much as possible. It's so yes, I, I know I don't have all the cutesy fun, you know, playing videos. There are here on my YouTube. If you go back, there are videos of Jasper being that way. Um, and on my Facebook, there's videos of Jasper and Mojo both being that way. It's just, I don't do that now that they're older because that's not what they want. They don't want to be cute little, you know, pets that snuggle with you constantly and, you know, play with you constantly. They want to be monkeys and that's what I allow them to be. I allow them to be monkeys. So, I mean, 
I know people seem to think that because I don't seem like, you know, I do the same thing they see other people doing with them that I don't, that, you know, they're a burden to me or they're something I don't like or something that I wish I didn't have. That's not true. If I had seen videos like these before I got Jasper, I may have thought twice about getting Jasper. I may not have ever gotten Jasper just because, you know, I don't, I don't think a home environment is the right environment for, for monkeys, but this is where they are. This is, they, they can't, they can't survive in the wild. They could never survive in the wild. Mojo wouldn't have lived past a year old in the wild. Most monkeys don't make it to five years old in the wild. Most monkeys don't make it to 10 years old in the wild. These are monkeys that live 40 years, 40. Monkeys don't make it to 40 years in the wild. It doesn't happen. And Mojo would never have survived in the wild. He would have died before he was a year old. If I put Mojo, even when Mojo had all of his teeth and was not neutered, if I put him in a sanctuary environment with a large troop of monkeys, he would starve to death and be beaten to death because Mojo is small and tiny. He's not the type of monkey that would survive. He wouldn't survive a large troop. He wouldn't survive the wild. But, you know, and, and, and I know people are going to say, well, if people didn't buy them, the, the people have said that. You can say whatever you want. Breeders breed and sell to labs. Somebody said that, that they don't have, that monkeys aren't used to research labs anymore. Well, I can tell you right now, Jas the breeder that Jasper came from, I know for a fact he sells to labs. I know for a fact he sells research animals. Not all labs are sanctioned labs. Not all labs are big pharma companies. And where do you think they test human medication at? Human medication go, can't go from lab to human trials. They have to test it on something living. And they need to test it on something living that is close to a human. So yeah, there are monkeys in research labs getting tested all the time. There, there's a website that sells enrichment and things like that specifically for research monkeys, for research labs. Breeders will sell to research labs regardless. They're not going to stop breeding monkeys. Maybe a few of them would. I like to think that Caesar and Mojo's breeder would not sell to research labs because he's a great guy and he loves his animals. But if the market dried up for, for pet homes, he probably would sell to research labs. Breeders don't care about your state laws. I know one breeder, one breeder who w will not sell certain monkeys to certain states because they are illegal and that is Podgy's Animal House in Florida. He will not sell, if you are in a legal state, he will not sell you a monkey if he knows you're in an illegal state. But most of the other breeders, they don't care. They don't care if you're in a legal state. They don't care if your monkey's going to end up getting confiscated and put down. They're going to sell to whoever they can sell to. That's breeders. So people that, so I want people that are going to get monkeys as pets to know what they're getting and to know how much work it is and to know how much of a commitment it is. Because if they know that going in, there's less monkeys getting rehomed. There's less monkeys bouncing around from home to home to home. And all monkeys are cute and sweet and so much fun when they're babies. When they hit about 18 months to five years, they become mature and a switch flips. And they are no longer this cute, sweet monkey. The monkeys you see on movies, I promise you they're all under five years old. 
it's they don't use adult monkeys in movies because adult mo monkeys are hard to deal with. Yes, capuchin monkeys are used in um, helping hands. Those monkeys have had extensive training done. Those monkeys have had all of their teeth pulled. They are kept on a leash 24 seven, most of the time. And they have had extensive, extensive training. Those monkeys do not get to be monkeys whatsoever. So, and, and that's another place that breeders sell, mon sell, sell to is people that do helping hands. Um, that's just how it is. So I know people say a lot of things on, on my TikToks and most of the time I ignore all of those. I will just give you a like and ignore your comment because I know you don't understand, but I wanted to make this video to kind of explain a little bit more because I can't do those in TikToks. So that's, that's leashes and that's the monkeys. If you have questions that, and you want to ask me questions and you want to do it in a respectful manner, you can message me and I will answer any question you have as long as, as it's a respectful question. If you get on here and you're hateful and nasty and say stuff like that and you continue to say stuff like that, I'll just block you so you can no longer see my content. That's just, that's how it's gonna be. But I'm happy to talk to anybody about monkeys. I'm happy to talk to anybody who wants to get a monkey and wants to learn about them and know about them that's, I'm going to talk to you. So anyway, that's it. Um, if you're, if you come over from TikTok, I would be, I would love it if you would subscribe. That's the whole reason why I kind of started doing the TikToks was to promote my YouTube channel. I mainly make these videos for myself for the future so I can see my, see my animals progress and see my see our lives progress that's mainly why I do the YouTube channel but it would be awesome if my YouTube channel got big and you know started bringing in a little bit of money that would be awesome because I do stay at home all the time and we only have one income even though my husband makes and makes a good amount of money you know he, he would like to not have to work forever so and he works 10 to 12 hours a day seven days a week so uh, if you would like to get subscribe, um, that would be awesome. Uh, hit the little button for the, I don't know what it's called for the, up for the, uh, notifications and feel free to give me a comment. I will answer back, um, as soon as I see it. So anyway, see you later.